Be Arthur shakes things up Monday with Mike. If I could be with you one hour tonight, if I could be with you, I'd feel so right. I'm telling you true, I'd be anything but blue. If I could be with you for just an hour, if I could be with you. Welcome to the Beatrice Arthur Special with guest stars Rock Hudson, Melba Moore, Waylon Flowers, and Madam. Ladies and gentlemen, B. Arthur. Hey, baby, time to lie. Welcome back to baby land. I'll open wide them golden doors and set my chair down next to yours. I've been freezing, sneezing out there where the bad times blow. Please don't stop to scold me. Let your love and awesome flow. Well, that's what this show is all about. Good times, having fun, and the chance for me to do something I have been looking forward to for such a long time. My first special. Oh, my first special. You know, when you do your first special, everybody is full of suggestions. The network, producer, the writers, your gardener, your hairdresser. I mean, they all mean well, but they're, they're so busy trying to figure out a look for you, a character, you know. Well, I tell you, you have no idea what they came up with for me. I mean, I can't remember all the notions, but this one was one of the ones that got serious consideration. Get a look at this. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I mean, that's fine for Carol Burnett, but if... If I do things like that, I'd really end up a cleaning woman. <laughs> you can go. I'm so glad we had this time together. Go. Go. <laughs> well, that would be pretty ridiculous for me, wouldn't it? Wait. Wait. This was another look they suggested. At least that's closer to my type. Maybe I should uh, think about that a little more. You know, too much hair. And those were the good suggestions. Oh, Lord. 
they meant well. Meant well? Benedict Arnold meant well. <laughs> this was the one that really got to me, though. Get a load of this. by with that. When I go around like that, I look like a female impersonator. <laughs> so finally, I said, enough. That's it. What is the big deal? Why can't I, why can't I just be this lady here? Why can't I be me? Be Arthur. It'll never work. <laughs> well, it's too late to change. What you see is what you'll get. Are you in the dark about which does more for a bad cold? Contact or Dristan tablets? Compare daily doses. Only one has three times more medicine for sneezing. Dristan does. The capsules don't. One has a maximum dose of medicine for congestion. Dristan does. Capsules don't. And only Dristan has pain reliever for aches and fever. The capsules don't. Dristan does what capsules don't. Get more complete relief. Dristan does what capsules don't. Question. What cuts grease, disinfects, deodorizes, has a fresh, clean scent, and will leave your kitchen smelling like a breath of fresh air? Lysol deodorizing cleaner. Lysol cuts grease and cuts out greasy smells. Disinfects, kills household germs and their odors. Deodorizes, leaves everything smelling like a breath of fresh air. Try Lysol deodorizing cleaner and leave your kitchen smelling like a breath of fresh air. Well, madam, after all these years, here we are finally working together. I can't tell you how excited I am. Oh, B, darling, you must try. Oh, no, I mean it. I really do. And I must say, I have never seen you looking better. Well, thank you very much. You know, I've always said, beauty is only skin deep. But ugly is all the way to the bone. <laughs> and uh, speaking of all the way, madam, I, I just can't take my eyes off that... Diamond choker, it is stunning. You stunning. know, thank you. I almost didn't wear it. Oh? I didn't want to overdress. You? <laughs> overdress? Well, I had this picture of you coming out in one of those famous ensembles you made famous. You know, the dress over the pantsuit. <laughs> of course. Not everyone can wear clothes the way you do. Well, that's true. And the rest of us wouldn't have the nerve. <laughs> cute. Real cute, Bee. <laughs> now what's the matter? Come on, Bee. Enough stalling around. Where is he? Where have you got him stashed? Who? You know who. Get it out here, Hudson! <laughs> I want a piece of that rock. Now, are you still obsessed with sex? Obsessed with sex? I have very little to say about sex. Yes? When and where? <laughs> hey, you Rocky baby! Oh, Rock, come to Mama! Madam, I, I hate to sound catty. Madam, isn't there a slight age problem with you and Rock? If he dies, he dies. <laughs> come on, Rock, come to Mama! Oh, for really, madam. Will you get off my back, B? You only go around this world once. Gotta grab all the gusto you can. Yeah. You're not gonna grab Rock Hudson's gusto on my show. <laughs> all right, but you're not fooling me for one minute. You just want him for yourself. Madam, don't be ridiculous. 
Rock Hudson is a friend. He's a, a very dear, kind, thoughtful person. Uh, he's a perfect gentleman who would never, ever take advantage of a woman. Never, ever. To hell with him. Let's see. <laughs> Now you're gone. Seems like yesterday I walked down the aisle and there you were. So tall, so so handsome, so debonair. Oh, I was so proud that day. Mrs. Harry Fenwick. Mrs. Harry Fenwick. Oh, Harry, you really had something. Such ability to go in one year from a nothing to, to president of my father's company. <laughs> oh, Harry, you really had it. You made me the envy of all my friends. And such, such tenderness. What other husband would have thought to send a single rosebud every day. Oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. Ah, Harry! <laughs> oh, Harry, I can't believe you're gone. all right, dear. I knew. You knew about us? I knew, Marcia. I knew. About the apartment on Wilshire? And the one before that. On Doheny! <laughs> but he was so careful. All those years we never went out. We might be seen together and then you'd hear it. He didn't want you to be hurt. It's my Harry. You must be Ruthie, <laughs> Gloria Fenwick. Oh, you knew about me? Uh, yes, uh, Ruthie, Marsha, Marsha, Ruthie. Uh, Ruthie is the motel in Pasadena. Pasadena? Oh, of course, Van Nuys. <laughs> Madeline was Pasadena. I can't get over it. You knew all the time. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew about you. I knew about Ruthie. Oh. I knew about Madeline. I knew about Alma. Our cleaning lady. <laughs> Harry! Oh, Harry! How can you do this to me?
him, I didn't know about. <laughs> Well, I'm warning you, that's about as risque as we're going to get tonight. You know, I've noticed something about first specials like this. Invariably, at about this point in the evening, the performer will have the house lights turned on and take personal questions from people in the studio audience. You've all seen it. It's become the thing to do. And the questions are always the same. So, to save time and electricity, yes, I love playing Maud. No, I didn't get tired of it. Yes, if the vehicle was right, I would do another series. My shoe size, 7B. Did I really have that facelift? So much for questions from me. <laughs> no, actually, I do have a little confession. I don't want you to laugh. But if I had it to do all over again, do you know what I'd want to be? I'd want to be... A saloon singer. <laughs> no, you're laughing, but it's true. It's, it's always been my fantasy. I close my eyes and I can just picture it. This little smoke-filled joint with a piano bar. It's 3 a.m., half empty. The 1979 Honda Civic Wagon was just the right size for the Buckleys and their four show dogs. But families have a way of growing. Lucky for them, so do Hondas. Introducing the 1980 Honda Civic Wagon. Completely restyled. It's got over 25% more space inside. Now, not only can the Buckleys ride in comfort, so can the rest of the family. Honda, we make it simple. American singles. How often do you count on their mellow flavor and goodness? Every single time. Monday on MASH. The camp is in chaos when Hawkeye temporarily takes command. Hawk, the only order you've given in two days is for a double scotch. Then on house call, the staff is quarantined in the cafeteria where the food is cold and the tempers are hot. You take requests? Of course. I the tape! Mash, then house calls, Monday at 9, 8 central. Thursday, Marriott Hartley and Burke Parks host the People's Choice Awards. As the American public awards its favorite stars, TV shows, movies, and music. Thursday at 9, 8 central. 
Ross, can you believe the things that are happening today? <laughs> oh, it's pretty crazy, all right. I mean, the way everyone dresses, the lifestyles, the, the new morality. Yeah. Maybe we're getting old. Look, Rock, if you can't say anything constructive... Okay. I'm getting old. That's constructive. But you're right, V. Thank you. It's not the same world we grew up in. Oh, that's for sure. For some, it's grass. For some, it's pulp. For some, it's powder. For some, it's smoke. Everybody today is turning on. For some, it's dust. For some, it's weed. For some, it's acid. For some, it's speed. Everybody today is turning on. Impressed, he simply got it off his chest by calling on a preacher, talking to his teacher, open up, up a half a buck to see a double feature. But now, now it's pills, and now it's pot, and now it's poppers, and God knows what. It must have been when smoke was luckies and high was gin. Oh, One pink lady and how it turned them on. Junk was trash, speed was swift, glue was pasted instead of sniff. Coke and aspirin and wow, it turned them on. Nitrate was some guy's name. <laughs> Holding hands and smooching was turning on. Horse was ride and roach was bug. <laughs> French connections were far and plug. <laughs> Jiving to Eddie Duchin was turning on. Yeah. Those days when if your nerves were kind of shot, instead of going right to pot, you prayed to hold his day, kept the Bible ready. From Rabbi White or Barry Baker Eddy. With the world so much amiss, how, how can a whiskey be? Cannabis, sniff, wig, puff, and your hairs are temporarily gone. Everybody today is turning on. Hey, remember when hash was fried uh -huh. and tea was brewed? Someone pushing was merely oh, rude. Absolutely, but once a week, you cut the grass, and too much acid just gave you gas. <laughs> This is David Sheehan in Hollywood. Tonight, we're going to be visiting with another mother of a famous celebrity. This mother happens to be the mother of none other than Steve Martin, which makes her just about our biggest mother yet. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're as anxious to meet her as I am. Mind if I come in? Oh, please do. Hope I'm not, uh... Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, no, no, no. I can work and talk at the same time. Of course, if you had something else in mind. <laughs> um, what exactly is it you're ironing there? Oh, the board. I like a flat board. <laughs> I see. So, um, they tell me you're Steve Martin's mother. Oh, yes, but that's nothing new. I've been Steve Martin's mother for years. <laughs> Just without saying. But I wanted to say it. I'm so proud to be Stephen's mother. He has given me nothing but pleasure. Such a dear, sweet, sensitive child. He would always eat all his penguin. Tell me, um, was he always 
Was he always the way he is now? Oh, yes. Right from the very beginning. And I can't imagine where he got it from. I mean, he certainly didn't get it from me. <laughs> You're sure he didn't get it from you? Of course, I will admit that when I was in my teens, I was known as that a wild and crazy guy. Sometimes these things uh, are inherited, you know. Oh, why would you even suggest such a thing? <laughs> No, he isn't. I said he isn't. Well, excuse me. <laughs> no, I really can't imagine where Stephen got it from. He certainly didn't get it from me. When I was his age, I was not being silly in a white suit. I was getting a their bars to show me where it's at. <laughs> no, he certainly didn't get it from me, and he didn't get it from his father, either. <laughs> he certainly didn't. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, it's time to milk the chicken. Come along, Dad. Come along. <laughs> Meredith Baxter Bernie on location. Meredith, what does a woman need to have good skin? Oh, good sense. Explain. Well, uh, one thing, soap can dry your skin. And you wash with? Noxema skin cream every day. Nothing fancier? Just Noxema? Well, look, Noxema cleans well. It doesn't dry. It puts moisture in. So your skin? Oh, feels really clean and looks, I think, younger. Younger? That's important to you? I'm human, aren't I? Good skin starts with Noxema every day. Greaseless, medicated Noxema skin cream. Rionidi on ice. Not nice. Rionidi on ice? <laughs> Green Eddie on ice. Rio Nidi is America's best loved imported wine. Red, white, and rose. Like love, it's pure and natural. Rio Nidi on ice? That's nice. Rock! What's up, madam? Are you going to be in the second half of the show? Yes, I am. Oh, good. I was hoping we could go all the way. <laughs> gotcha! The Beatrice Arthur special will continue. Monday on WKRP. We suppose what happened if you said yes. Will Jennifer really keep her date with Herb? You've never let me down before. Next, on The Last Resort, Zach hears wedding bells. Can I do your best, yes. It's Monday Night Madness, starting at 8, 7 Central. When Henry's wife left him, she left the kids, the cleaning, the cooking, and the love. Then she wanted them back, once upon a family. All right. Tuesday. This is CBS. Oh, star lineup on this week's Mike Douglas show. It knocked my socks off. With the unpredictable John Ritter, Maud's B. Arthur, Angie, Donna Pescow, Bob Hope, Sonny Bono, the incredible Hulk, Lou Ferrigno, macho Nick Nolte, Dallas' stars Linda Gray and Charlene Tilton, and music with superstar Tom Jones and England Dan and John Ford Coley, plus the Commodores. Monday at 4.30. Well, what do you think of Progresso's new home-style spaghetti sauce? It's the best spaghetti sauce I ever ate. You know, it's made with choice tomatoes, imported cheese, and Progresso's unique blend of herbs and spices. I said it's the best spaghetti sauce I ever ate. And who knows more about fine Italian foods than Progresso? I said it's the best spaghetti sauce I ever ate. Is Progresso's new homestyle spaghetti sauce the best you ever ate? Try it and find out. But can't you say anything else about Progresso's new spaghetti sauce? Yeah. Can I have some more, please? Child Custody Disputes, a Newsbreaker Report, Monday at 6. Now, 
I'm so glad Melba's on the show because we share a passion for the Broadway stage. We were talking about some of the great shows we've seen in the past few years, and we both agreed that one that really got to us was Ain't Misbehavin'. Oh, yeah. Which is based on that fantastic music of Fat Swaller. I and the show just cooks oh. great music. I'm flying high, but I got a feeling I'm falling. Falling for nobody else. great title song. Oh, yeah. No one to talk with all by myself. No one to walk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. Ain't misbehaving. I'm saving my love for you. Now I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with certain it's just you I'm thinking of. Ain't misbehaving. I'm saving my love for you. Like Jack Horner in a car. Don't go nowhere, what to act care? Your kisses are worth waiting for. Believe me, everybody be oh. in vanity when they see you out with me. And I don't blame them for their nose. You're my honey, suck a row. Well, I don't buy sugar. Why not? You just have to touch my cup. Why must you be mean to me? Gee, honey, it seems to me you love to see me crying. And I don't know why. Because your feet too big. Huh? I'm mad at you because your feet too that big. Back? I really hate you because your feet too big. I can't use you because of them big feet. <laughs> if I should take an ocean to jump into the ocean, ain't nobody's business if I do. All right. And if I go to on Sunday and didn't cabaret all day Monday, yeah. Monday, it ain't nobody's business what I do. And if my friend ain't got no money and I say take all mine, honey, it ain't nobody's business. Well, if I give him my last nickel and that leaves me in a pickle, yeah. it ain't nobody's business what I do. There ain't nothing I can do nor nothing I can say. I want to anyway. Do it. And I don't care if they all despise me. All right, and if I work and come home dragging and just stay up all night ragging, it ain't no matter what I do. And if I eat three turkey dinners and then announce that's just beginning, it ain't nobody's Oh, Terry, this is fantastic. No, I... Oh, Terry, I can't get over this. Well, after all, your 30th anniversary. I know, honey, but I mean to do a thing like this for us. Judd, mm -hmm. I ask you, is this a daughter or is this a daughter? It's not a son. <laughs> Terry, how did you ever think of this? I was racking my brain. I mean, you two have everything. What? Really? So what do I get you? Another clock? Another serving tray? A car? Cars are not. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then it hit me. Oh, knowing the two of you, how you feel about each other. Oh, I figured what could be better than giving you a weekend at the same place where you spent your honeymoon? She was right. What could be better? Two weekends. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I head for the hill. What's the rush? It's early. <laughs> Look, at $73 a night, I want you two to get my money's worth. <laughs> 
Bye. Bye-bye, honey. Bye. Bye. Don't overdo it. <laughs> overdo it. Out, out, out. Great kid. The best. Well, I don't know about you. I am going to slip into something a little more comfortable. And I am going to make a drink. Can you believe this, Edie? The same resort, the same room. Same room, too? Mm-hmm. Same room, different bed. Well, I thought the room we had last time, didn't it face the east? Who knew? We never opened the curtains. <laughs> 30 years. <laughs> it's a long time. Oh, that's Yep. Thirty years is a long time. Sure is. You know you're still a pretty good-looking dame. Thank you. You know you're not so bad yourself? Thank you. How long are we supposed to stay here? Oh, three nights, two days. Well, why don't we just make it overnight? Oh, come on, Judd. We can't do that to Terry. Oh, no, I guess not. Well, look, I mean, it's great here. The grounds are great. The food's great. I'll buy some books, catch up on my reading. Hold it, Sam. Two for you. Aha! Two for me. I am the perfect wife. Right. You know, I have the feeling I'm going to like this weekend. Me too. Maybe this is the wrong bed. <laughs> Same bed. Wrong pitch. John. Hmm? What happened? Nothing happened. That's what I mean. What happened that... Nothing happened. Oh, come on, Edie. Lots happened. It was terrific. For years, and you know it. Then why did it change? Who knows? We changed. It's bed changed. People change. Things change. I wish I knew the answer. But I'll tell you something, honey. We're not alone. No. I suppose <laughs> not. Yes, operator, this is room 102. My wife and I are not to be disturbed all day tomorrow. Not until dinner. You know, I didn't like his snotty attitude when we checked in. We fool everybody, don't we? Everybody. Judd. Hmm? You suppose we could try to fool us for a few nights? Same to you, honey. At Whirlpool, we know how you feel about fingerprints. We need lots of lemons. That's why we gave you a refrigerator with textured steel doors that help hide fingerprints. Now you can get the same no fingerprint doors on every kind of refrigerator Whirlpool makes. And Whirlpool makes more kinds of refrigerators than anyone. Now there's no fingerprints for everyone. At Whirlpool, quality is our way of life. 
Here it comes. Super Minute Rice. A delicious side dish that'll add zip to any meal. All you need is Minute Rice and any creamy style soup, like cream of mushroom. Heat the soup according to canned directions. Then fill the can with Minute Rice and add rice to boiling soup. That's it. After standing covered for 10 minutes, Minute Rice absorbs the soup's flavor to make Super Minute Rice. Add zip to your family's next meal. Serve Super Minute Rice. Top choice. There you go, spoiling that dog again. Oh, Elfie loves it. It can't be as nutritious as this. But top choice is good for him. I he is right. Now it has high quality protein. High quality protein. Right. And isn't that something you'd want Alfie to have? Mm hmm No leading brand of dog food, canned or dry, has it? Nutritious new top choice dog food. The only leading brand with high quality protein. This is for Alfie. Oh, good. And for you, my spinach dumplings. <laughs> Sister Love. Yeah. There is love in every pore of my body. Yeah. I am full of love. Yeah. And anyone who knows Sister Love will tell you she has always been full of it. Wow. And I come to you today with a heavy heart. Because our town is ravaged by sin. Yeah. There are men here in Slaterville with sinful ways. Yeah. There are men in this town who are lustful yeah. and oversex. Yeah. Praise the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> yes, friends, there is evil all around us. Yeah. But you can be saved. Yeah. I want you now to meet a former sinner, yeah. a former cheat, a former thief, a former congressman. Yeah. Brother Roy, get on up here. Thank you, sister, for that warm introduction. I used to lie. I used to cheat. I used to lie. Cheat. That's what people see. I used to lie and cheat. Sister Love, I was down. I was low. I was down low. I was low down. I think that about covers everything. Oh, no, Brother Roy, you're too modest, too modest. This man, this man was foul. Mm. He was filthy. Mm -hmm. He was rotten. Mm -hmm. Lower than dice. He was not fit to eat slop with the pig. Sister Love, you certainly have a way with words. Want to bet? <laughs> and you, thank you, Brother Roy. Sister Maureen, come on up here. Come on up here now. Come on, come on. <laughs> Sister Maureen, Sister Maureen, will you stand here now and testify Amen. to the evil ways of your miserable, immoral, worthless self? <laughs> Anything for a friend. <laughs> Good folks, I 
lose four men in one day. <laughs> it's just a lie! Keep it to my life! Oh, yeah! She was saying. As you know, it's on my latest religious album. Mm -hmm. Sister Love sings the greatest hits of Faith, Hope, and Barry Manilow. <laughs> so buy the album. Send up your love donations. Mm -hmm. We can't let down our God. The devil is always out there ready to pound, yeah. ready to move in, yeah. and we can't let him get away with it. Brother Roy, when the devil moved in with you, what did you do? I cast him out. Sister oh, Maureen, when the devil moved in with you, what did you do? Cast him out. Oh, yeah. Sister Madam, did you cast the devil out? Well, I couldn't. It was his apartment. <laughs> I was like her once. I used to cuss. I used to fuss. I used to cuss, fuss, boogie all night long. I used to cuss and fuss. As an energy-hungry nation, we're a little soft around the middle. With only 6% of the world's population, we consume more than 30% of the world's energy. Yet there are ways we can trim down. For instance, if all drivers cut back their gasoline consumption by just 5%, we could curb our energy appetite by over 5.5 billion gallons each year. For a leaner, healthier America, Atlantic Richfield believes it's time we all went on an energy diet. What an exciting new job. Stage manager of the town playhouse. With a million jobs, checking the lighting and the scenery. Whoops. Nobody made coffee? I'll make some. Uh, Marcy, as stage manager, you're the top. <laughs> but at coffee making... <laughs> oh. Hey, they're on to me already. I can't make good coffee. Sure you can. Here. Folgers? Well, coffees are all alive. Oh, no. Folgers is a special blend. The best I've ever tasted. Why is Mountain Grown so good? That's the richest, most aromatic kind of coffee. In the cool mountain air, coffee grows slower and builds up more rich flavor. Well, I'll try it. Mmm, I can almost taste that aroma. Taste rich. Delicious. Better make more. Your coffee is going to be a big hit. <laughs> Try Mountain Grown Folgers and make your next pot of coffee your best pot of coffee. The way I see it, this world is worth a quiet laugh. It's nothing epic. It may be rates a paragraph. Life isn't always sunny, I agree. Even so, 
it seems funny to me the way i see it this world has got to make you smile whoever made it sure set it up for comic style there's reason to grow weary oh yes i quite agree yet life does not Super Sunday on CBS, with a pregame show setting the stage for the nation's premier sports event, the Super Bowl game, the Rams versus the Steelers. Then stay tuned for 60 Minutes on a feature on famed actress Betty Davis. <laughs>